win a brand new free Ultimate Edition Batista figure. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can do so. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new My Damn Halls video, and it's not going to be like our typical My Damn Halls videos. I have a lot of stuff here that we're going to go through, but it's a ton of stuff. I got a ton of stuff, plus an insane deal and in steal that I found, and I have to get into it because it's incredible, but it would not fit here, as you guys will tell later, but stay tuned to the end of the video as we do have an epic giveaway going on on my Instagram right now for an Ultimate Edition Batista, and you guys can get in on that and possibly win yourselves an Ultimate Edition Batista, but let's dive into what we have so far. Had a lot of mail come through the week. I don't know what the hell I just said. I have a, I had a lot of mail come through the door this week. Figures, loose figures, things like that, so let's go ahead and dive into what we have so far, man. So the first figure that I did get, you guys know how My Damn Halls works. I run through My Damn Halls as we approach episode 100 slowly but surely, which will be epic and bigger than we've, anything we've ever done. It's going to be amazing, but here is the figure we got. It is Elite 23 Cesaro, I think. If you guys know Cesaro, he's one of those guys that actually has changed his formula quite a bit. He has he has been this formula. He's been the bigger torso that we've seen. He's been a, a newer one. I mean, he's been all over the map when it comes to formulas and legs and all kinds of different stuff, as you guys most recently saw with the Elite 93. But before Elite 93 was this beautiful Elite 23, which I think is damn good. I think that the legs on the new Cesaro and the arms are both probably way too jacked, so I am happy to have this one, but you're probably like, I've owned this figure about 20 times. Nah, not really. It's, been, it's probably about six times, I think, I've owned this figure. Every time I get it, it's for this torso right here, and if you guys know this torso, it is the Finjamin Balor torso, which you guys can see back here. This is the Finn Balor torso, but it does have chest and stomach hair, aka the Seth Rollins torso, a torso they use for muscular guys, but uh, it's a bit different than Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has the chest hair, but he also has the tattoo going down the middle of the back, and it's actually in this skin tone, which is this British Bulldog figure that we'll get into in just a moment. He's like, uh, Seth Rollins is, I don't think he's as dark as the Randy Orton torso right here, but it's sim it's very dark. It's not this lighter skin tone, so what I plan on doing this is taking our Elite 94 Edge and fixing him up nice. You guys know he has double jointed arms. He has a beautiful head sculpt. He's got the beautiful white gear, but what did they do to him, Brad? They gave him the ugly ass Daniel Bryan torso. So, we are finally, since I have this figure in my collection, I finally got it back in hand. I think it's actually going for about 20 plus bucks. I think I got a deal on it for about 16 or 15 and it's so terrible. I'm paying 15 bucks to fix up my edge. Isn't that insane? That's kind of insane, but I'm going to take this, remove the torso, put it over here, give him the double jointed arms. We'll probably do that on the next surgery because our next surgery is probably going to be absolutely insane. If it's not the next surgery, it'll be the next surgery after that, but I should be able to fix edge in there because we got to fix him up and make him look a whole lot better than he looks right now, but this torso right here on this figure is going to look outstanding. I do have an example of what it looks like when you switch the torso. So this is what the torso looks like after we have fixed it up. Look how much better that looks, man. It looks a lot more official. You guys know the Edge put in a lot of work. He put in a lot of work to get down and build some muscle and cut some fat, and look at that right there. Like, it just looks so much better. So when we get this over here, this Edge right here is going to be outstanding, and so we, we fixed up our Elite 83. We're going to fix up the Elite 94, but there is Cesaro. Got him through the door. Another figure that I got through the door, or figures that I got through the door, was this uh, Braun Strowman over here. The Elite 87 Braun Strowman. If you guys watch Surgery, if you guys didn't watch Surgery, definitely go check that out. But we uh, we took this right here. This is actually the figure because we switched the legs. But we put some Bobby Lashley boots on there and switched his legs over because I didn't want him to have the short boots. So I wanted an updated Strowman with like newer boots on there because I'm going to make a new masthead sculpt for the Fed because the return is imminent. And so I want him to have an updated nice look. So we'll, we'll get into that, but Braun Strowman is looking a hell of a lot better. A lot of people were asking me about the black backing on the pants. Doesn't really bother me. You can't really tell that much, and I guess I could custom paint it if I wanted. I wish his pants were black. You know, he had black pants with black crotch, but the only way I could do that is if I painted the crotch and then put some old Braun Strowman legs on here with these boots, and it's just one of those things I don't really want to dive into, but we do have that Braun Strowman right there. And another thing that came through the door was all of these Randy Ortons, and we didn't, we got the best, look, look at this right here. We got all the different Ortons right here for fix-ups, man, and we're going to get into it. You got the best of pay-per-view. You have the Elite 12, I think it is, in the red trunks. This did come just as is. Like, a lot of them have some beat-ups and, and, you know, some paint chip and stuff, but it's not going to matter because I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to be able to, you know, Dr. Whitekiss is going to fix him up, but we also have the Elite 2 Randy Orton. We have the Elite 16 Randy Orton in the black and green. We got, like, Mighty Morphin Ortons over here. We have the Elite 35 in the blue and black, which is one of my favorite Ortons ever. And last but not least, we have the Elite 9 Orton in the yellow. So 
So look at that right there. We have Mighty Morphin Ortons, and this is not all of them. I also have the All Stars one on the way. That's actually just the black trunks with white outline design. It's basically the Elite 35, but instead of blue trunks, it's black. So it's just like a white outline, kind of plain Jane. But my idea and my plan for this is I'm going to order seven or eight Elite 90 Randy Ortons. If you guys don't know what figure that is, it is this figure right here. And I am going to torso swap every single one of them to give all of these updated torsos and head sculpts like this figure has right here. So they will have the tattoos. They'll have the tattoos on the torso. They'll have double jointed arms. They'll have a great looking head sculpt. I mean, I don't know. I may I may leave the head sculpts. You know, it'll depend. But I think they're going to look really damn fire once it's all said and done. Because from the crotch down, all these figures are the same. Some of them do have little nicks and crannies on their legs that I'll have to acetone and clean up. Some of them are missing knee pads. Some of them have busted up boots and knee pads. We're going to replace all of it. We're going to turn these Randy Orton's into brand new looking figures and they're going to look outstanding once we get that in there. And yes, it did cost a fortune. It cost a lot to do this. So leave me a like right now and comment on the video so that I can afford these fix-ups. So now that we got all of our Orton's, again, doesn't matter about the paint chip. And I don't even have to replace the lower torso because they have the same lower torso as the updated Orton. So all I got to do is crack the top part, switch it, put the double jointed arms in there, put the head on there. It's going to look fantastic. So we have all of our Orton's, our, our Power Ranger Orton's that are going to go together right there. Now, another thing we got was this British Bulldog. We never did a full review on the channel. I just got this picked up and I like this figure a lot. Now, one thing I'll tell you right now is I think this is slightly better than his Elite 38. I think the formula is a bit wonky, but uh, this arm right here, it's kind of like my Elite 92 step. It's so stiff. Like, dude, it will not, it will not articulate for real. So it's kind of bogus, kind of pisses me off. Only way I can really get him to do something is if, you know, I just make it look like he's flexing or something like that. And that pisses me off. But this piece right here is super high quality. This flag right here that goes around. So you put that around the neck, you pop the head off, put this around the neck, and then you put this over the hands and he can say bulldog and then it has the flag going all the way around. So this is a really nice piece which I like but my arm is busted and that pisses me off. But this figure is actually really nicely detailed. I like the red and blue. Nice colors. Bulldog. BB. BB over there. You got bull and then dog over here. I feel like my gauntlet on this side. Like you see how it's like kind of is that how it was? You got bull on the top part of the arm and then dog on the underside. I just don't feel like that's accurate either. But head sculpt's very similar to the Elite 38 if it's not the exact same but the arm being messed up really pisses me off. It does have double jointed arms but the way that the shoulder is stuck really hurts my feelings and upsets me so that was kind of bummy but you know it is what it is a couple figures i picked up at retail i found the elite 92 rick flair which adds to the collection here may use them for parts may use them for fix-ups but we did get another flair he's got the shirt on there looking pretty good as well as an elite 92 adam cole now if you guys watch surgery you will know that we took his left arm to put on a finn balor over here which is actually this specific finn balor as you guys can see but this Finn Balor was missing an arm, so I went ahead and plugged the black double-jointed arm sleeve arm over here on Adam Cole. Now, I know Adam Cole doesn't wear sleeves, but it kind of makes for a cool look. You know, it's nothing outstanding, but it's nothing, you know, terrible. You know, you could make a pass at it. It's nothing crazy. I have, like, four of these, so it, it, you switch it up a little, it, it changes the game. So we do have the Elite 92 figures right there. Those are hitting your targets, so be on the lookout for Elite 92 Adam Cole Chase. That's the one that I'm looking for. Still haven't gotten that together just yet. And last but not least, before we get into the epic playset that we got for a steal, we have these Finn Balors. Now, I did do these on surgery, so if you guys watched it on surgery, you guys have already seen these, but if you missed it, if you want to be able to make all of your Finn Balors double jointed arms, I show you how to do that. So you got this fix-up Finn, you got this other fix-up Finn with the smiley head, which has the Adam Cole arm over here and the Hurricane arm over here. Over here, we have this fix-up Finn that I like a lot. It's got Buddy Murphy kick pads on it. It's a really nice look with the Top Talents head sculpt. We have the Elite 74 one that I think was my favorite with the double jointed black arm, Elite 74 trunks, black knee pads, Seth Rollins kick pads, which are really, really nice. And last but not least, we have the Top Talents Elite 82 head sculpt fix up with double jointed black sleeve arms there. No paint chip, nothing like that's going to happen, so he can pose around with the best of them. They don't give Finn ball joint legs, which is actually really sickening. He would pose a whole lot better if he did. Would really like to see a new Finn Balor formula and everything with ball joint legs, but uh, I really wish they would just cancel the, the ratchet joints all together and give everybody ball joint like AEW figures do, but that's besides the point. But now that we have covered everything, we covered every figure that I wanted to cover, we're going to get into the playset real quick, and then uh, I'll show you guys the Ultimate Edition Batista that you can win. But uh, hold right there. Let's get into the playset. 
All right, guys, so here is the playset that we picked up for an absolute steal. Got this from the thrift store for legitimately, I want to say, I want to say it was under $10. $10 for the steel cage playset. Now, it is the Reckon basic ring. As you guys can tell, it is just a basic ring, but it scales pretty damn well. Like, I know that it's not the full size. It's like, this is the ring that I use, which is the, I think it's a, it's a replica of the real scale ring from Jax. However, it's not bad. Like, it's actually a lot better in person. If you guys want to see a figure in there, here's just a regular regular Finn Balor if you stick him in the middle of the ring. Now, like, you guys can kind of see how he scales in there. I mean, it looks it looks okay. You could probably get away with putting on matches in there if you wanted to. Not a ton of space, but a lot better than you would expect. But one of my favorite features is this right here. So not only do you have this, like, little breakaway spot right here where you can, like, open the door up. So you can crash through there. You can pass weapons through there. You can do all those different things. You also have this other side where you can bust out through the ring. It is a wreck and slam ring there. So you can punch through this Side. So I have a bootless Bobby Lashley. He could just... go right through there, which is really cool. You can also come through. So this pops out and it opens. So this can also open up. Tons of playability with this. Now, I think what I would do if this were to be used, don't think I'd use it for a match. I think it'd be more of a backstage setup type deal where you set this up in the backstage and it looks like a background piece and then you throw people through it or something like that. And the only con of it, the only con is that this piece right here is missing from the door. So to enter through there, you know, it does not have this piece. It is missing this piece on the door which is really unfortunate, but uh, that's the only piece missing, and you, you might be able to, you know, fix it up, put some mesh over it, do something with it, or you could just remove the door completely, or you don't really need a door if you're going to be using it in a backstage capacity. I could just remove the door and then just have it as an opening rather than using it as a, you know, an operational door. So that's the ring. I thought it was an absolute steal. Got it for 10 bucks at the thrift store, and I thought it was really awesome, so I wanted to show it off to you guys and, and showcase everything. But if you guys want to win this Ultimate Edition Batista figure, check out my Instagram. Instagram link in the description below. Gives you all the rules and stuff like that. Very simple rules to follow, but you can win an Ultimate Edition Batista. That's gonna wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. This shout out's gonna go to Adam Carr, who says, I'm surprised they still haven't made a full denim Scott Hall for his Nitro debut. Such an iconic moment and would sell like gangbusters. So yeah, I'm surprised they haven't done that either. I'm sure that is coming. Maybe they'll do an Ultimate Edition or something wacky or, or something for it, but I feel like they're definitely going to make an Ultimate Edition Scott Hall at some point, but I think the full denim Scott Hall for the Nitro debut is a definite uh, figure that needs to happen. I could definitely see that taking place or something that they want to make happen, so we will have to see about that, but a huge shout out to Adam Carr for the comment on the video. Appreciate you, bro. If you guys want a shout out in a future video, leave me a comment down below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. You crossed